Alrighty, we have another viewer question today, and this question is from Julius Sneezer, and he asks, how do we deal with needy women? Well, neediness basically comes from not getting enough strokes as a kid, whether you're a man or a woman. So if you constantly wanted love as a child, but you were ignored or your parents didn't pay any attention to you, which is basically how my family was, there was no I love yous. My grandfather would come over and he would shake my hand and my brother's hands and our cousin's hands and there were no hugs. There were no I love you. Grandmothers were they were all the same way, just cold fish. And so as a child and you grow up in that environment, you're going to – and you want love and you need love as a child – then you're going to become emotionally anchored to wanting love but not getting love. And so you tend to get involved with people that you love but they don't give you the love back. Or where a dude gets stuck in friend zone, really wants to date a girl, but she's not feeling it because he's too soft. And so she sticks him in friend zone and hangs out with him all the time. And he basically becomes like her gay male girlfriend or her emotional tampon, if you will. Guys will put up with that thinking, hey, eventually she'll see what a great guy I am and change her mind and want to date me. But at the end of the day, if he was a high value, high status man and he gets to know this girl and he wants to date her or sleep with her and she says, I only think of you as a friend or maybe he approaches it from the perspective of, hey, I'm just going to be your friend and says he's cool with that when in reality he's figuring, hey, once she gets to know me, then she'll want to date me. Because that's what you see in the movies. But in real life, men with choices and men with options, as soon as a woman says the F word, the friend, friend zone word, he's going to be like, hey, I'm not down with that. i got plenty of friends. But hey, if you change your mind, give me a call. And he walks away and he never looks back. And if she reaches out and tries to get together again, but end up you know, again reaffirming, hey, this is only in a platonic sense, the guy has to be congruent. Hey, I told you last time, I... I think you're amazing. I like you a lot, but I'm only interested in romance. And if you're not interested in romance, then, you know, I wish you all the best. Good luck in your search. I only want to hear from you if you want to actually go out on a date. And you have to be congruent with that. And if she lets you go, then at least she'll respect you for being man enough to say, I'm not going to sit there and have blue balls. Because a cute girl who likes the attention from a guy knows he wants her, but he, she doesn't feel anything for him. We'll be happy to hang out with that guy, and she's not going to be bothered by the fact that he's stuck in friend zone because he's not man enough to walk away from her. Because a man who has self-respect and loves and values himself and knows what he brings to the table is not going to stay stuck in friend zone with anybody. He'll just move on and just figure, hey, it's a numbers game. Maybe the next girl will like me, or maybe I'll date her friend or her sister or her coworker. Or her mom. Or her mom. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard Stacy's mom has got it going on. She does. So. Stacy's mom? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't know. I've heard from guys. Who was the guy in American Pie? Stifler. Stifler's mom. Stifler's mom was like that. 